Welcome, how's everyone doing today? It is currently Monday, October 14th. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Um, unfortunately, we got more weather to talk about, tropics to talk about, and fortunately, possibly a cool down and an Arctic blast that's going to be coming to the central United States and much of the United States, actually, within the next couple of days. Starting with Invest 94L, last night wasn't looking too impressive at all. We could just see that low-level circulation popping up on satellite imagery. We're starting to see a little bit of convection around that center of circulation now, which I think it's going and continue to try until it really gets to the lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, and the Leeward Islands. Um, there's just too much dry shear. It's a very hostile environment out here, and that's one reason why it's so rare to see these type of storms out here in the Central Atlantic this time of year due to the water temperatures are either already cooling down, you've got a lot of dry air, dust, shear out here, and it usually just rips these apart. So um, it's definitely rare, but let's dive in, take a look at, and see what the latest models are showing. Alrighty, jumping over to Invest 94L Model Track guidance most of the model track guidance has a pretty good agreement of where this thing's going to go at this point and i can almost confidently say right now as of you know being this far out there's still a lot of uncertainty right but this is going to be most likely a concern for puerto rico the dr they're definitely going to have to watch for it cuba um the bahamas as far as you know the central United States, Florida, anyone in the Gulf of Mexico, this is still too far out. If you, you know, if you're in Florida, if you're in the United States, this is not something that I would be, you know, putting up red flags right now about, be concerned about. Um, but definitely continue to watch it and see where this storm trends. A lot of the models have this thing curving out, going over the DR, just getting absolutely shredded and just fizzling out. Um, some also take it over here north of the DR and then just out into the Atlantic Ocean and just gets ripped apart. So either way, um, there really hasn't been much model guidance indicating that this thing is coming to Florida and there really hasn't been much model guidance bringing this thing into the Gulf of Mexico as some outliers have had. Alrighty, jumping over to the GFS model guidance and this is going to kind of show you what I was talking about a little bit with Invest 94L. Um, you'll notice down here we've got a low pressure system trying to form um, down in the southern um, Caribbean, Yucatan Peninsula area. And this, this one has been very far-fetched. It's been popping up on the previous model runs over and over again. Some showing major hurricanes coming into the Gulf of Mexico, coming into Florida. And that is becoming less and less true at this point. So it's becoming less of a concern. Um, if this thing does decide to develop and become anything, it's really just going to go right into the Pacific Ocean, most likely, or Mexico, and just fizzle out. But as we put this in time, this is going to be the latest 12Z October 14th model run. We're getting into Thursday now. This is Thursday. Friday, October the 18th, we can see we've got this, you know, GFS thinks there's going to be a 1,003 millibar low pressure system um, just off the coast, Southern Caribbean, Yucatan Peninsula. And then we also have our Invis 94L, which is approaching um, the Leeward Islands. And as we put this into motion, you can see this thing, once it gets past the Leeward Islands, I think it's going to be definitely be in a better environment to potentially reach hurricane status, potentially. Um, and like I said, it, it tries, it definitely starts dropping, but it this specific model run shows that it's going to make land interaction with the Dominican Republic and the DR and then just get absolutely shredded off. And then this one just tries to go into the Pacific, redevelops and just does some crazy stuff. So, I mean, this time of the year, you really only got two options. You know, if you have storms forming down here, they're really going to go this way due to fronts and high pressure systems. If you have anything over here, they're just really most of the time they actually curve out into the Atlantic Ocean. So it's rare to see a storm out here, let alone just head straight west to the Caribbean to the Leeward Islands. So, but as of now, like I said, um, um, there is no current concern for an impact on the United States or Florida, let alone. All right, now jumping over to a model guidance that we actually haven't took a look at in a very long time is going to be our snowfall accumulation. Yes, that's right. We are about to experience an Arctic blast for the first time in a while now, and I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. Temperatures are going to drop down much in the 60s, 40s, 30s, and even 20s for some at some times during the next week or so in October. And the exact timing, the exact placement, and how much snow people are going to get is still a little bit undecided, um, especially in the Rocky Mountains, Colorado area, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and so on. Um, it's really going to depend on the placement of this trough and the timing of it. Um, as of right now, you can see this specific model run on the GFS. It's um, more so high, higher elevation. Some models run take it a little bit more south, and some models run also take it a little bit more east. So it just kind of depends on the placement of the trough, the timing, and um, where exactly it sets up. But I will continue to keep you up to date with that. Like I said, much cooler temperatures moving into the United States by this Wednesday and Thursday, October 16th and October 17th. All righty, and last but not least, we're just going to kind of 
take a look at the open satellite imagery, visible satellite imagery of the whole Atlantic Ocean so y'all can kind of get a better idea of everything we're kind of talking about as far as the tropics. You can see right here, Invest 94L has got a lot more low level rotation, but still it does not have a lot of that combustion per se you know there's not a lot of fuel for it it's getting choked off by that sahara air you can see all the westerly flow a little bit of shear over here um, lots of shear over here like i said most of the times that's why when these storm systems curve out north in the atlantic this time of the year they just get absolutely reached apart but like i said guys i'll continue to keep you up to date i appreciate the support just wanted to take a minute to say thank you to each and individual one of y'all that has subscribed liked the videos comments shared the videos not only does it help me but it also helps every individual person out there that may be in the path of one of these potential storms either being hurricane tornadoes and severe weather which i do think severe weather we will be talking about very soon here in a while um, once things start getting active in the plains again there's still a little bit of uncertainty but like i said as always i'll keep you up to date i love y'all i appreciate the support stay tuned and we'll get it